Hello from Castle Corner and what might be our last excavation video I think from the prisoners walk. We've um, we've put quite a lot of the spoil back in over the last few days. Uh, not much of a rubble heap left and we've just done yesterday our final bit of excavation in the middle of the, uh, the trench here which we'd had to leave for various reasons. Um, this is the uh, sort of behind the cross wall uh, in front of the um, or behind the drawbridge pit here so you can see we've filled in most of the drawbridge pit which did eventually go down to very nearly three meters and we just had this area left in front of me here to excavate uh, on the, the far side of the, the string here and we've got bedrock um, almost straight away beneath the surface so their their path through here must effectively have been trodden down uh, onto the uh, munched up bedrock uh, and then a, a simple sort of revetting wall has been put in where the, the rock um, dives off very steeply here you can see how it's been cut through at that side by the the telephone cables. There's what might be um, a beam slot here running uh, running across the trench and presumably making some kind of base for uh, what we assume was a door uh, at this point. I think I showed this before. We've got the um, uh, timber up here with the, the hole in it at the end where it joins the wall and that um, presumably provide some sort of uh, post uh, on which the gate, uh, the door hung and it goes down onto a little area here which has been deliberately made flat perhaps to receive the bottom of that post and then I guess that, that slot uh, is something else to do with the, um, the structure of the gate. And then if we go back down into the trench and look back again there's that really not, not particularly well made wall there which is just uh, covering up the, the steep drop in the bedrock and then if we go this way now there's the pivot that we've talked a lot about that we're pretty sure the, the drawbridge uh, rotated on and just the top of the slot on that side of the um, of the pivot to, to, uh, to stop the counterweight for the drawbridge and We're now fairly sure we can sort of work out the distances. I'll just get up here. So there's about a metre and a half from the pivot back to that front wall that um, went down into the drawbridge pit. And then the other side, um, probably about four or four metres thirty, uh, was on this side. And it would have closed up by... Um, the uh, drip, the overhangs uh, up there uh, which means that the end of the drawbridge would have come out for something like one, two, three, four, five steps down somewhere out there and then sort of swung back up that way to seal off the castle. Um, it's just possible that there could be some evidence for that end of the drawbridge under the steps but um, that's a bit beyond our uh, capabilities at this time anyway. So we're going to tidy up what we excavated yesterday, plan it, draw it, take some photos um, and then finish off the, the back filling and, um, and that'll be just about it. I'll, um, when we get properly working on processing the finds I'll, I'll post a couple more videos of, uh, of what turns up in the finds trays that are still waiting to be washed.